गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट टूडे क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ग्रीड इंडिपेंडेंट सिस्टम ओके अबाउट व्हाट इज ग्रीड इंडिपेंडेंट सिस्टम फर्स्ट यू नो ग्रीड ग्रीड मींस द सप्लाई और द स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच सप्लाई यू द एसी करंट बाय गवर्नमेंट ओके और एनी कंपनी the the line which distributed uh, all over uh, all over your place okay or the sc line which distributed all of the uh, all of your place coming from grid okay that means the structure or your main structure or source station uh, where the grid is um, uh, situated okay grid means the series of transformer uh, the the and the and the alternator which is used for distributing your ac current okay now see that grid independent system okay grid independent system means there is no need of grid for uh, the, the this type of system or this type of uh, photovoltaic system so it is called grid independent system there is no uh, dependence on grid okay this system is didn't depend on the system because or um, this system is uh, not uh, uh, bother about uh, whether the system uh, the, whether the grid power is present or not okay so first of all the photovoltaic power system have a unique property of supplying power in wide range from milliwatt to megawatt requirement okay and depending upon the system configuration pv system which is port portable system can be stand standalone or hybrid system okay there is two type of system pv systems one is standalone or hybrid system okay grid independence application are further distinguished into standalone and off grid application okay further classification depend upon the mode of supplying power like dc and ac and also with or without battery storage for example a water pump can run on a pv alone either with dc or ac as the case may be okay so here the moral story is that um, the uh, grid independent system are uh, can be uh, um, standalone standalone or hybrid system there is two system uh, there is two grid independent system can be there one is standalone and another one is hybrid system and this this standalone system can be uh, called as direct current pv system photovoltaic system direct current photovoltaic system and uh, um, since uh, uh, there are two types of systems first uh, let let us study about direct current system for small consumer okay and household a configuration consists of a solar generator okay solar generator means here solar cell okay or which generate current uh, by converting solar cell solar energy that is called solar generator and here solar generator we usually used solar cell okay and a charge controller okay and a battery storage is sufficient these components are connected through a dc bus bar okay if the load is ac and an in, in, inverter is used in this configuration okay see this con this is the this is whole this configuration is whole called direct current pv system okay here you see where is it is pv pv means photovoltaic okay photovoltaic means there is there is a solar cell array of solar cells okay then that solar cell this is called dc direct current bus bar okay dc bar okay then the, that dc bar it is this is our charge control the current produced from the uh, uh, from this or voltage produced from this um, pv goes to charge control okay charge controller and charge controller works as a charger uh, of the of our battery okay so this through this control battery is charged from the voltage produced by pv okay and also one direct uh, dc uh, outlet are there which is connected to direct uh, pv okay photovoltaic that works as a as our dc outlet okay and in daytime 
when uh, sol light is there this uh, dc outlet directed direct com uh, taken the voltage from pv okay but in the night time when the pv is not working or not producing any uh, voltage the our battery battery uh, storage battery storing energy is used for our dc outlet okay so uh, in our home in generally dc out uh, dc load is very less okay uh, we use ac load okay uh, whether it is a water pump or washing machine or grinder or a bowl or fan there uh, these instruments uh, work in ac um, uh, low ac current okay not dc current okay so in in that place when the ac is there so here one device is is connected which is called inverter previous classes we know uh, the work of inverter inverter converts dc produced by pv to ac okay so we use one inverter and the uh, that inverter is fitted by the um, voltage or the uh, dc voltage produced by pv and from that inverter we get our ac current okay this is simplest form of uh, uh, what is uh, the simplest form of pv system okay okay and this is used in uh, in uh, domestical purpose or in small family small consumer okay or household this system is used but in order to meet very elect uh, in order to meet varying electric power dem demand with season weather or on uh, on foresee con uh, con circumstances hybrid system are preferred over a standalone pv system okay this is the standalone pv system okay and uh, hybrid system is used over standalone pv pv system whenever there is a high demand of power okay and whenever there is uh, the demand of power over uh, seasonal uh, let's say uh, when there is a cloud or rainy season there is always cloud in the sky so power generation is very low in the standalone system okay so yeah, at that time uh, to meet our uh, requirement of power or requirement of, of um, household power uh, the standalone system is not sufficient so we use hybrid system now see what is hybrid system okay in addition to pv generator and battery storage such system such system means hybrid system have an additional ac source okay normally a diesel generator or biomass generator okay such generator as turned on when the battery state of charge is too low due to the insufficient solar radiation or excessive power demand okay that means in hybrid system what is the extra or what is the advantages of over standalone system or direct dc current system uh, pv system that is in hybrid system addition to um, that means uh, with pv system and battery system one uh, ac source are there okay which is a, either a diesel generator okay or a a uh, what diesel generator or a uh, one minute diesel generator and uh, another another one is uh, such as generator is uh, you know, the battery state that charge insufficient okay biomass generator okay biomass generator or um, diesel generator or you may uh, used a wind turbine okay as as the place of diesel generator okay so wind wind mill uh, wind mill okay windmill or windmill turbine okay produce ac current okay so here you see all all are same as standalone system okay only this much ac uh, alternating current bus bar is extra and the generator are extra and this ac is used whenever high demand 
uh, uh, high demand is uh, needed high demand means uh, high, uh, the uh, the higher the rating or the higher the demand uh, over the uh, produced uh, current okay but um, or 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 when uh, it is used or when the cloudy surface or cloudy days are there okay so the uh, producing current is less so this at the time this current uh, or this uh, ac uh, generator is used to provide ac current okay so this is called hybrid system hybrid means direct ac are there and the the solar systems are there the both are uh, worked uh, uh, the both are worked by supporting each other okay whenever it it's it capable or the pv uh, voltage uh, solar cell is capable of providing uh, require uh, require require required voltage then that at the time the ac bar is ideal or whenever the pv or the photovoltaic cell is not capable of of providing uh, the current or requirement requirement of current then the at the time the uh, alternative current is activated and it provide the amount of current which is needed okay and here you see one acdc alternator okay so one acdc converter sorry alternator converter is used because uh, this is the uh, motor gen uh, motor gen or battery okay this uh, this uh, uh, from this from this uh, alternating current this comes and here the alternating current you see when the PV is not uh, working in let's say night time okay the battery the battery also low okay in night time high due to high demand the battery cannot provide such amount of uh, current okay so at that time this generator or windmill worked and this generator windmill uh, provide the current directly to the ac load or house load okay but uh, uh, but uh, to charge the battery we use one uh, ac or dc converter which convert ac to dc and that dc is used to charge the battery okay and from that battery you can also uh, convert uh, by using inverter we can also use uh, ac okay so in both way we can use uh, ac uh, in the the in the first way we can use uh, this um, uh, ac generator okay directly and ac generator used to charge battery through ac dc converter okay or uh, or we can use the storage battery dc converted to ac by inverter and we can use that ac also okay in both way this since uh, so so that it is this system is called hybrid okay hybrid means uh, you know hybrid we in, in generally we uh, we told that hybrid is uh, desi plus modification or modified desi system okay uh, let's say this is desi system okay and this is the modification okay uh, by situation demand okay you know hybrid system okay now these two systems is used as a grid independent system you know this is this two system is called grid reversal here you see in the standalone system or the direct pv system the grid is not placed here or the the independency of grid is not there also in hybrid system there is no need of grid grid power okay so 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 that it is called grid independent system okay thank you